Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this series we're making Snake in Unity. In this video, we're going to set up the UI so we can display our score. Let's begin. Okay, so here is our game so far. We can move around with the snake. There is food being spawned, which we can eat, which makes the snake grow. And we can also go into the size, and the snake wraps around to the other side of the level. So now we want to display the current score in the UI. So here in the editor, let's go inside the game handler game object in order to keep our scene nice and organized. And now in here, let's make a new game object and we're going to call this the UI. And here you can leave it on any position, but personally, I like to put it to the side. So let's put it on a thousand on the X and a thousand on the Z. So just like that, this is our UI on the side and our scene is in there. Okay. This way in the scene view, the UI is not blocking the origin of our game scene. All right, so this game object is a container for the UI. So inside, let's create a canvas. And as you can see, the event system was automatically created. So let's drag it inside there. And now here in the options for our canvas, let's change the render mode from screen space overlay into screen space camera. This allows you to assign a camera that will display the UI, which is what we're going to do. So let's create that camera, create a new camera. Let's call this the UI camera. Make it a orthographic camera to be in 2D and give it a size of 100. And now drag that camera onto our canvas. So just like that, we've got a camera that is displaying everything that is in the UI. So in here, for example, I can create a UI image. And there it is in the game scene, we have an image being displayed. Okay. Also on our camera options, make sure you change the clear flags to don't clear. That way our main camera is still visible behind the UI. Back in the canvas on the canvas scaler for the scale mode, Let's select scale with screen size. This resize the UI elements to fit the screen and resolution. And the reference resolution is the main resolution for your UI. If the current resolution is smaller, everything will be scaled down. And if it's bigger, it will be scaled up. So when developing for desktop, I like to set it to 720p. So 1280 by 720. And for the match mode, let's fully match with the height. So for example, if I go in here and I change the aspect ratio, you can see that the square was not resized. It maintains the same size. But if I drag the window and make it smaller on the vertical axis, then you can see that the square is correctly being resized. So with UI set up like this, you can place everything vertically and only have to worry about horizontal movement. And the reference pixels per unit, leave it at 100. Okay, so now our UI is correctly set up. Now inside the canvas is where we're going to put any UI objects. So let's create a game object for the score window. And inside our score window, we're going to need a text object to display the current score. So a new UI text object. This will be our score text. Okay, so just like that, we have a nice text field to display our current score. So now let's make a script to handle it. So in our scripts folder, make a new C-sharp script. This will be our score window. Now in here, let's set up a private void awake where we're going to grab the reference for our text object. So up here. Okay, so we now have a reference to our score text, which we can change to have the actual score. So now we actually need to deal with creating the score. So we're going to do that on the game handler. So in here, let's go all the way down here and we're going to store it as static so we can easily grab it from our UI window. So first let's go up here and make a private static game handler in order to store a instance. And we're going to set it on our private void awake. And then let's have a private static int to store our score. And down here, let's make some functions to manage our score. So in here, So we have a nice function to return the score and let's also make one in order to add score. So we simply increase the score by 100. Okay, so this is very simple and we now have a nice score in a static variable in our game handler. So we can now go into our score window and here make a private void update and on our update, let's set the score text dot text to be from the game handler dot get score. So we ask the game handler to get the score and we update our score text. So very quickly, let's see if it says zero when we run our code. And yep, there's the score text being updated in order to say zero. Okay. 
So now obviously we need to actually call our game handler .add score. So we're going to increase score every time we eat some food. So let's go into the unlevel grid. And here we have the snake trying to eat some food. And if it does successfully eat the food, we destroy the food game object, spawn another one. And let's also tell the game handler that we need to add some score. So now let's see if our score updates whenever we eat some food. There's the snake, currently got a score of zero. And if I eat this, and yep, there you go. Now we got a score of 100, eat another one, and 200, and 300, and so on. So we now have a very nice UI element to display our current score. So there you have it. We set up the UI canvas and added a text field to display the current score. In the next video, we're going to set up loading so we can reload the game when we die. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.